I appreciate it, Tom. Mark, I appreciate you doing this. Uh, I guess my first question is simply, why do you feel like you have been such a fit here or your game has been such a fit here at K-State? Uh, I just kind of think it's the uh, positions that Coach Weber puts me in on offense and just the things he allows me to do. You know, uh, obviously in high school, I kind of did, when he watched me, I grabbed a lot of rebounds and pushed it up and kind of used ball screens, things of that nature. And uh, that's kind of what it feels like now. I'm really comfortable in the offense, you know, uh, it's in motion, you know, moving around. And I play one through four, sometimes five, so I can, get mismatches on me because I'm a bigger, stronger guy. And uh, I feel like I can get to the basket when I when I want to. So uh, just the position Coach Weber puts me in, it's always the offense is constantly moving and I can get downhill or get open shots or make plays for others. So uh, I feel like I've just been com just extremely comfortable. You know, I feel like I'm, I fit in perfect here, so. I'm interested, too, from the standpoint of when you do play the four, because of your strength, does that overcome the 6-4 against some of the 6-8, six, 6-9 six, guys you're playing? Uh, you know, sometimes uh, sometimes I do, like, you know, versus Baylor, you know, Matthew Meyer and yep. Kendall Brown, you know, sometimes they jump over me and get some boards. But it does help a little bit just because I can push them where I want them to to go to kind of nudge them a little bit and but I think it also is an advantage for us because we can pressure the ball one through four you know not a lot of the teams have four ball handlers that can dribble like us so it helps us defensively to pressure the ball but yeah my strength does help me sometimes um get you know guard bigger guys like that even when I play the five sometimes so uh it really doesn't matter to me. You know, I just think, you know, coach knows that I have, have a lot of pride and, you know, want to stop my man from scoring. Mark, thanks. Good luck this week. Thank you. Uh, next question to Kellis. Hey, Mark. Hope things are going good. Um, I think the stat is before you got to Kansas State, you maybe only had one double-double in your whole college career. I think you're up to about 10 right now. Does any of, I mean, does any of that surprise you that you were able to rebound at this level after what you previously done? Uh, I mean, how I'm rebounding now, it does surprise me a little bit, but I feel like I've always been a good rebounder. You know, just sometimes the systems I played in, you know, it was more like we always had to have a safety or I played the two guard uh, and they didn't really want a lot crashing because SEC is more transition, but I always had a defensive rebound. So, uh, it was a, I always thought I could be a good rebounder like this and impact the game. It was just, I was just fine. You know, I always try to be coachable and, you know, our coach wanted us, you know, wanted me to get back and not crash the board as much and get out in transition. So that's kind of what I did. And Coach Weber allows me here to crash on offense and defense and push the ball up. So um, I think it's just different systems, but I always thought that I could be a, a great rebounder like this. Now that you've been playing for him for almost a year. What would you say you enjoy most about playing for Coach Weber? Um, just how much he cares um, and how much he wants us to to do good. And I just feel like once you play for Coach Weber, you just develop that passion for him that you want to win at all costs, no matter what. And uh, and that's one thing I would say, just his passion and how much he teaches us the game is really what I love about playing for Coach Weber. And I know you said in the past that, um, you know, when you were looking at previously at Kansas State, especially when you transferred the first time, just the timing was off. Looking back, at, at they had a scholarship open at the exact moment you said you were transferring back then. You think you would have ended up here? Yeah, I, I definitely do think I, I would have ended up there. You know, it's just it's a it's unfortunate, you know, uh, obviously. But, uh, you know, every I believe everything happens for a reason. So, you know, I'm glad I, I'm here now. and. and you know, making the improvements and learning all the basketball I've learned from them. Um, you know, I'm just really excited to be here and play for Coach Weber. So. And one more for you. Just what, what is the team's motivation here these last couple of games? What are you guys talking about? What What's the main thing you're trying to accomplish? Obviously, our goal is still the same, you know, uh, get, getting to the NCAA tournament. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, it was a tough loss Saturday. I mean, I mean, last uh, first Kansas on Tuesday. Um, and uh, 
you know, we were really preparing, you know, and they just, they were on fire. But, um, you know, that's our goal is to win. And uh, we want to win for coach, but we want to win for ourselves as well. Uh, and uh, I think that's what we're, you know, these last couple of games are going to put our best effort forward. And uh, that's going to start with Saturday. All right. Thanks, Mark. Really appreciate it. No, no problem. Uh, next question to uh, D. Scott. Hey, Mark, how you doing today? How you doing? Good, good. <laughs> hey, uh, first question. Um, do you remember Michael Beasley? Yes, I do remember Michael Beasley. Yeah. <laughs> what do you remember about him? Uh, I remember he grabbed a lot of double-doubles and uh, his freshman year, he uh, he was – I remember the Kansas game because I was watching it when they played at Kansas. And uh, I just remember the type of player. He was a really great scorer and uh, just a great rebounder. So how does it feel just the fact that Tom was rattling off statistics that uh, you're kind of in the same same boat with, with Michael, at least uh, especially with rebounds? Uh, that is kind of, you know, ama you know, amazing because I actually used to watch K-State basketball a lot um, with Jacob Poland and Mike and Michael Beasley and those guys. So uh, it was just, you know, it's great. To, it's a great honor to, you know, to be mentioned with him. But obviously, you know, he's still got work to do. You know, he won a lot here at K-State. So mm -hmm. what have you learned most about yourself this season? Uh you know, uh, I think I learned, you know, uh, that, you know, if you just stay patient and, you know, you know, just keep working hard, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, I've always been a hard worker. I feel like through my career, that's just how I was raised. And, uh, you know, these are the things that I thought I could do, you know, grab rebounds like at this rate and, you know, play at play at this level. So, um, you know, just to, to rebound and, you know, having the season I'm having, you know, it's kind of just, um, I feel like it just shows all the hard work that I put in to paying off, kind of. How fast has this experience gone by for you? Man, it's been really fast, but uh, I've been enjoying every moment, and that's what I think is making it go by even faster, even though the ups and downs, um, you know, and some of the losses we've taken, um, I've been enjoying each and every moment with with my teammates and the coaches, and, you know, I just try to go into each and every day you know, enjoying each day at a time because I know it's it's getting uh, my last couple, well, the last couple games are here. But, uh, you know, I just try to enjoy each and every day and learn as much as I can. And if I, you know, keep growing each and every day, that's just yeah. makes it better. Well, congratulations. You're, you're doing awesome. It's a pleasure to be able to watch you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, next question to Arnie. Yeah, Mark, uh, you talked about uh, the recruitment and stuff like that, um, but you'd also been in, you'd kind of been in touch with the K-State coaches or is your family or how did that, that kind of come about? Because it sounded like there'd been some that you guys had, had kind of stayed in touch over the years to some degree. Yeah, we my when in high school we uh we built a pretty good relationship, but uh, Coach Lowry played basketball with my uh, father at Carbondale, uh, and they were really really close friends. So uh, that's how we kind of stayed in touch. Um, and you know, because Coach Lowry obviously I, he's known me since I've been born. So uh, it's really just uh. You know, him just checking up on me, Merry Christmas, you know, things of that, that nature. And just the relationship my parents built with Coach Weber. And uh, during both times in their recruitment, even the third time, you know, I just think, you know, they've really, you know, uh, looked out for my family and I. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate that for him. And obviously my dad, but like I said earlier, my dad and Coach Lowry were, uh, teammates at uh, Carbondale. I, I don't know if they were roommates or not, but they're really, really close friends. And also, I think Coach Weber mentioned you originally were maybe looking at, at playing baseball. Is that right? Or yeah, uh, my uh, sophomore year, I committed to Missouri. Um, I was going to be a two-way player. I played 
center field and I pitched uh, through about 90 through 93. And uh, also wanted to ask, there's some talk now about possibly adding a, adding an extra game here right before uh, before the end of the season to maybe try to help your guys' resume a little. How do you feel about about that adding uh, one more game to an already busy schedule? I think, you know, I think that's great. You know, I've, um, you know, we're always so prepared because um, coach does a great job getting us ready for each and every game. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, we're going to try to do whatever. And I think the team wants that as well to try to have the best resume possible to get to the NCAA tournament. So, uh, so hopefully we're just going to take it one game at a time and, you know, just keep trying to, uh, you know, finish strong this year so we can put the best uh, effort forward to get into the NCAA tournament. Thanks. Yep, no problem. Uh, next question to Tim. Hey, Mark. Uh, this, this may be kind of a, a tough question for you, but it, it, if you kind of compare your, your time this year to your time at, at Illinois and, and Missouri, what, 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 what's been the biggest difference this year uh, between? Yeah, go ahead. Biggest difference? Uh, I say Illinois, you know, freshman year, you know, uh, that was just a tough experience. Um, but, you know, uh, I still learned a lot. Um, you know, I think it was just being a freshman learning, but it was also a tough experience just uh, where I was at there, um, where they were at. But uh, Mizzou, I'd say, uh, you know, my experience at Mizzou was, it was good. You know, Coach Martin, uh, I really uh, love Coach Martin. You know, he treated us all well and helped me grow as a basketball player. I think some injuries, I had uh, injured my foot sophomore year, injured my back uh, junior year, uh, where I had to sit out a lot of games, um, helped me out. But, you know, as a man, you know, they, uh, Coach Martin really respected me there and uh, treated me right. And uh, I say my my game was more uh, like they wanted me to be a shooter. That's what he wanted me to be, uh, a straight shooter. And, uh, you know, get on in transition and finish um, at the basket and, you know, grab rebounds. And uh, Coach Weber here, my I still do all that. Uh, Coach Weber wants me to shoot every time I'm open and get to the basket when I can. But uh, it's uh, more Coach Weber knew, knew my game more in high school where I was more getting downhill, making plays, grabbing all the rebounds, kind of pushing it up, making that, and just kind of moving the ball, getting it side to side, uh, just kind of being like, uh, I don't know how to put it, but just, you know, all around player. I can go in the post. I can, I can shoot, drive, so I think play make. So I think that's just what Coach Weber saw in me, and uh, he wanted me to get back to that my last year here, and he kind of encouraged me, you know, to – to grab all the rebounds and push it up, you know, to get myself going and get to the basket again. Because I think everyone from my time at Mizzou kind of just expected me as a, a shooter. And that's why it's uh, shocking to a lot of people. But I don't think uh, Coach Weber and the coaching staff here are shocked by that because they saw me play a lot of games in high school. So I think they're more shocked about how athletic I am being able to go get the rebounds and stuff like that all the time in my strength. But I would say that's my biggest difference here. I, I think I have a little more freedom and uh, like to make plays and get to the basket and at Mizzou and uh, Illinois, it was kind of just like a shooter and get out and transition and finish type, type of deal. If that makes sense. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, no Grant, oh, Tim, did you have something else? Uh, go ahead, Grant. Hey, Mark. Um, I just wanted to ask, uh, you know, you've been talking about how you guys want to get to the tournament and you're on that bubble. Have you been paying attention to the bubble at all and, like, how that's all shaken out, or is that kind of something you keep on the back burner? Uh, I kind of, me personally, just how I've been, I don't really uh, pay attention to the social media that much or the bubble. I kind of just control what we can control. I know Coach is talking about it. We're fighting for fighting for you know, our tournament lives, but uh, 
you know, I always hear the chatter about us getting we're so close again then and then we're the next four out. But uh, I kind of just keep that on the mind because, you know, if we win games, you know, obviously it will take care of itself. But uh, that's it. I have, you know, heard heard some things about us being on the bubble, but I really try not to pay attention and just focus on each and every game. Yeah, I mean, talk about this next game you got with Iowa State and, and how that's been going in practice, you know, preparing for the second matchup with them. You know, obviously, I think uh, this matchup versus Iowa State, uh, we're going to be uh, – we were really prepared there, but, you know, obviously they came out hot. I forgot his name. He had his career high. He had, like, 13 points. We got down really early, and I think, I think obviously, you know, we are going to make some adjustments out how we guarded. You know, they they do a lot of cutting, and uh, we made an adjustment towards the end of the end of the game that I think really helped us. But uh, you know, Brockington's a really good scorer. He just had a, a real big night last night. So, um, and he had a big night versus us. So I think we're really going to you know, you know, lock in. And obviously, offensively, we know what we can what we can do against. But we can do uh, well against them. You know, we found out what started working for us. And uh, I think it will be another great game. But I think it's uh, I think we're going to have a great effort Saturday. You know, just seeing the group chat, you know, everyone's extremely, you know, ready for Saturday, it feels like. And uh, I feel like, you know, we're just focused on getting getting to the tournament. You know, I, I think a lot of guys, you know, think we shouldn't. We should be in the tournament, and so I think we're going to push, you know, earn our, earn our spot. And then, you know, it was talked about after the Kansas game that the practice before the Kansas game might have been a little rough. Um, how have the practices been since, um, you know, preparing this week for Iowa State? Uh, well, we're going to have our first practice today. You know, we had an off day yesterday. But, um, you know, I think everyone's going to come locked in, and I think it should be a real great practice today, a lot of great energy. Um, I think it's gonna, it's going to be a great practice. You know, obviously everyone knows that Monday we didn't have the best best practice. You know, uh, it wasn't as focused as we normally are. The energy wasn't how it's been. You know, even leading up before Oklahoma State, our energy and practice is really you know contagious. And just uh, that Monday, you know, it was tough. And uh, obviously, coach challenged the leaders. You know, if we want to you know get to the NCAA tournament, we can't have any more bad practices. So he challenged uh, all of the leaders on the team and everyone, you know, we got to we got to be better if we want to accomplish our goal and, you know, stay mission focused. You know, coach always gives us those words and uh, and stuff to follow. And I think everyone believes in Coach Weber when when he speaks. So uh, I think today should be a really great day. Everyone should be focused. You know, we're obviously going to walk through, uh, walk through um, and guard Iowa State stuff and we will be really prepared for Saturday. Thank you, Mark. Take it easy, man. Yeah, no problem. You too. Other questions for Mark before we let him go? I'll make sure we get to everybody. Oh, go ahead, Wyatt. I just, I just wanted to ask one more, Mark. You, you talked about your strength a couple of different times. I'm curious as to your thought on that. Are you, have you just been a guy that's naturally strong or have you done a lot of that work since high school in the weight room or is it a combination of both? I'm just kind of curious about that. Uh, actually, I didn't, I didn't start listening to my uh, freshman year in uh, college. Uh, kind of just been naturally strong. It was just because uh, baseball – I didn't really lift as much and then believe in like lifting and because uh, my arm and stuff. But uh, I, yeah, I didn't start lifting to freshman year of college when I really started lifting seriously. Maybe I might have done some some core <laughs> when I was uh, when I was younger, but and some push ups. But that was really all that <laughs> never like actually lifting weights. Yeah, so more natural than than weight room stuff. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, bud. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Any other questions before we let Mark go? Okay. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate the time. Yeah. Uh, we'll thank see you, you Saturday. Good luck. Good see you. Guys, thank you. We'll have uh, Coach Weber on tomorrow at 10. So.